YouTube, welcome back to yet another video. Sorry that they've been so spaced out. We got a lot to cover, including a brand new compressor that I just acquired. So stick around, let's get to it. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I just acquired a, not new, but it's new to me, uh, gasoline Honda powered air compressor. It's got a, it's a Campbell Hossfield, if I hopefully didn't butcher that, uh, air compressor. It's got a Honda GX160 on it. Uh, the, I don't know what kind of pump this is. I'm sure it's Campbell Hossfield or some sort of whatever. Uh, no, I have no idea. Uh, either than that, other than that, um, one pole, it is Honda, one pole, it fired right up. It's been sitting outside for six months, the guy said. Um, it fired right up. I, you know, I didn't let it get up to pressure. I have no idea if it's gonna get up to pressure. So we're gonna find that out today and we're gonna hopefully get this thing running 100% by the end of the video. Sorry if there's rain noise in the background. It's not been a good week, so let's get to it. I'm gonna start out with the specs on this thing. It is a 110 PSI, 10.3 CFM, uh, 110, 5.5 horsepower, uh, 20 gallon tank. Uh, the model number is pretty much gone, but I can sort of read it. It's got a Honda GX160 engine on it with probably not a lot of hours. Uh, it's not really burning oil. I can stick my finger in there and really it doesn't come out too black, which tells me there's not a lot of oil residue in there. It's been sitting outside for a long time. Um, you know, outside in the winter, you know, this is now August, so it's, it was out in the winter if it's been sitting out for six months. It is now raining all over the place. Um, being that the engine started, you know, I'm not too worried about it outside of this, but this works fine, so um, I am a little worried about this, so I'm going to have to probably change the oil. I don't know if I'll do that in this video. I am worried about this, though. This is extremely rusty, and it's not coming up. It does turn very rough. If you can hear that um, but it doesn't barely turn so I'm gonna try and get this thing up to pressure and see if it shuts off at 110 psi which would probably be right about there so let's try that engine did run it ran all the way up to full throttle the pump pumped it up it got up to 150 psi and I killed it because it didn't shut off so, so the engine's been sitting now for it's still raining the engine's been sitting now long enough it is warm Slightly warm to the touch. I don't know if that was even tight. What is it? I've never torn into a gas uh, air compressor. Okay, so this must be a plunger. So I know enough. I know enough basics to know that this plunger comes up when it gets up to pressure. Um, being it came out, it's not ceased, and I think I'm gonna put it in less threads. It almost looks like right here. Is where the factory thread should be so I'm gonna put it right to there leaving this thread exposed and this may completely damage everything but I'm just gonna try it um, but I'm gonna put some hydraulic oil on this put this back in and we're gonna try and start it again I'm just gonna try and put this back in there I didn't haven't looked anything up online I just know that this is bullwhip because there's a sticker back there I think that the less threads that are inside of it, the faster it'll push out, right? So the tighter down it is, the harder it has to push up. Let's try and start it. I hope you guys can see this. I'm gonna try and start it. It should start on the first or second pull. I ran it out of fuel. I turned the fuel off and let it run itself out. You know, didn't know when I was gonna start it next. So we're gonna see what that does. So I guess let's give it a whirl and try not to burn myself again, right? All right, here we go. Nope. First pull, choke on. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. No choke, fuel on. Leave your comment down below. Nope. Alright. Choke on, one pull, you think? Let's see. Two pulls?
pros. A little bit of help and it worked with flyers. We're back with the uh, good old fashioned gas compressor here. And I, want I figured out why this thing might have been considered trash before. Um, either way, I pulled it just to see if it starts uh, coming out today. And uh, it did, it popped right off, no choke. And then this happened, case. Uh, the flywheel's wet and it's wet right there, if you can see that. I looked at it down here and it looks like we might be over full with oil. So what I'm gonna do, oh, it's still hot. It got up to pressure, that's what I let it get up to. Um, then it kicked out, so it is working. <clears throat> Did you hear that? I don't know what that was. I, this is gonna be a big mess. So I'm going to place the camera somewhere where I don't touch my phone on fire because the other camera's not working. There, well, that'll work. Um, I'm gonna do this. I don't know how I can do this to minimize them. I, this is gonna be a big mess. Ooh. Oh my god, it's hot. Why wouldn't you turn my hand? You just had to burn me, didn't you? Huh? This is going to be probably a big flow, so I'm more than likely going to just wind up burning myself in all of this. Um, I, so the way that this oil came out, it makes me believe that there's probably water mixed into it because it is a little milky. Oh god. This is worse than I thought. I should have never ran this. Oh, please don't make a mess. Oh, that is not a good sign. lost a lot of oil out the side here but we got some sparkles in there you can see that one it's a pile of them right there welcome back YouTube we are back from the store um, a different day different time lost all my oil I just found out I just lost all the oil what I had of it either way it was not 8.5 ounces okay anyway that's not the news news is went to the store and I don't think I've ever found it this hard to find 10w30 full synthetic motor oil 10w30 I did it's Havoline it's not really full synthetic it's conventional but it has all the traits of you know synthetic so I don't know um, the other thing is I got we have engine oil for the uh, small engines but I went ahead and bought four cycle SAE engine oil to just replace that uh, Honda's engine oil and because the tank is rusting out I also went and got some Krylon um, indoor outdoor metal wood and more paint and I'm gonna tape off probably these labels and get rid of this bubbling off paint and then maybe paint off um, some more of this right here, you know, tape it off or whatever. And then I didn't find, but I'm going to find some uh, paint for this fly or the starter cover. And uh, we're gonna paint this and get this back up into shape. I just don't want it to rust. It's not really about looks. And if I can't find an exact match, I'm not gonna be too butthurt about it because I'm not really interested in making it look pretty. I'm making it interested in making it run right. And uh, I don't want to burst a hole in the tank. So, anyway, the pump calls for 8.5 fluid ounces. I did not pull 8.5 fluid ounces. 
So let's do that. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't grab a spark plug. I was gonna tune up the engine while I was uh, at it. I didn't grab a freaking spark plug. Gosh! Still looking for a cup. I've been looking for like 20 minutes. <sighs> Eight in a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is place this oil can here and keep track of all these things. Please don't go in there. Son of a buck. Okay. Nothing is ever easy. Ever easy. I dropped the oil to the engine, uh, made a mess in the process. I also just painted it. I didn't film it, I forgot to film it. I scratched the paint. I think I'm gonna take the engine and the powertrain off of this thing and just repaint the whole tank if I don't buy a new tank. But I changed the engine oil and it's like water, so I think it's still the original braking oil. Just figured I'd throw that in there. All right guys, we're back. As you guys saw, I dropped the engine oil on the compressor. Uh, I got interrupted and the camera died and I also changed the engine oil. Now this is the engine oil, I did not mix the two. Look at that. It's literally almost just water so I think that this is the break-in oil if I'm not mistaken. Um, so they probably never changed it. So I changed it, I put this, I'm not sponsored by these guys but I put the Master Mechanic 4-Cycle uh, SAE engine oil in there. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep that in there for now or if I'm going to do what I'm doing with the pump, which is uh, run it and change it after like 10 uh, recharge cycles. You can already see it's low, so I'm losing oil again. I don't know where. Uh, oh, it's got crap in it. You can see it right there. It's got crap. Anyway, what I got to figure out now, I finally went down and straightened these uh, these feet out. I straightened this one out. Um, I also straightened this one out just as best as I could. And uh, I think I tried mounting wheels, crappy wheels, to uh, this thing. It ain't gonna work. Um, I don't even want to spend the money on new wheels if, because of that. Uh, I also painted the air filter container here. The air filter is shot. I need to change it. Uh, it'll work for now. It'll be fine but uh, it needs to be changed. And then, uh, other than that, All right guys, as promised, we are at the end of this video, and the engine has, everything has been upgraded on it, or not upgraded, but um, fixed on it as far as oil, and the compression, or not compression, uh, pressure release, idle, bullwhip throttle, uh, the, the actual tank has been painted. Technically, it is functioning. I know I want to get this uh, pallet done. I don't have enough time for it and or the materials for it right now. When I run to the store, that'll be the part two of this. But as promised, I did get this thing running and I did get it running right. So, stay tuned for the next video. Also, don't forget to leave your comments down below about what color the pallet and the tank will be. And your guys' suggestions will come through in the comments and I will reciprocate with a new paint color. I'm excited to see you guys' suggestions. Let me know what you guys think about this project down in the comments below. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Helps me out. This is my dream. Stay safe. Have fun. Don't forget to be creative. We'll see you in the next one.